Kalar. Two. Young Hartford. Now Sullivan. He's got Owen up there with him. There's Owen. And a goal. One minute. Owen has scored. Oaks. Beautiful ball to Bell. And Summerby moving around very intelligently. And a goal! A goal scored by Lovett. He's put through his own goal. Is it Bell or Lee going to take it? No, Lee. To Bell, to Summerby, to Lee. Oh, what a goal! Oh, oh. Love it, Dragison. Chris Wickey away is a chance. Yes, it must be. Yes, they won. Chris Wickey has scored. Oh, it. on the right with Lee. Lee now to Doyle. The young. Oh, five. Young has scored. Oaks to Bell. In will Summerby. Lee. Six more. Jackie Charlton racing through to get his position on the goal line, harassing these defenders right among them, right in the way of the goalkeeper. Has put it in. Nick Jones. towards the goal line as it comes across and it's a goal! Connor there with Reedy covering him, Pimner there to see everything's all right. little pick back there and a picture there to have in and he's put it in united appealing for some infringement there but it's not been given and that makes it 1-1 now williams chapel looking for it at the far side getting a hit to it coming oh yes Ball. Ball to number 11, Whittle. Oh, a great goal by Whittle. Oh, he really saw the gap. Benetti was in the middle of the goal. Great goal. 38 minutes. Whittle has scored. Webb. Royal. Chelsea in dire trouble, Kendall, 2-0. Chelsea hopelessly, hopelessly pulled apart. And Peter Benetti must be wondering where on earth was his cover. And Ball will get there first. Now who recovers? Hinton. Weller. Hutchinson, the goal! Hutchinson has scored. Which is there, Mackay's going to take it himself. 
or it might be Hinton. Saw so Dave McKay score a goal at West Bromwich Albion in this sort of situation last season. And my God, he hit the post! McFarlane! McFarlane to score! The game's still on, it's Durbin for McGovern! And a tickle! A back heel from Hinton! Hinton! A terrible mistake! Well, in fact, he's given the free kick. I think Keith Walker could have given the, the other decision. Oh, there's Durbin. Oh, what a perfect little goal. Alan Durbin. The wall, Charlton, Kidd, Styles, Trevin. Very Carly number eight's over the ball and mounted to Mackay. Right through the gap. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Atkins running from the left and getting his head and scoring! Wallace again looking for Atkins. Robertson ran away from him and that's a penalty without any doubt by David Sadler whose timing was so late it belonged to last season. So, can Stepney do what Smith did? No! Saget. Back again to Saget. Good save by Smith, but then he lost it. And Saget has managed to make it. Oh, off Astor for Brown, it almost came off. Saget! And Saget went on. Cantello. They're all running right. And the defence was fooled, and so was Smith. Astle against Burgess. Gilchrist has given it away. John Kay giving that one away. Simmons. Wild is there. Astle came in, missed. Hope. And it went off Suggett. Suggett's goal. Nicely built, but a good shot. What a cracking goal by Mick Mann. It's Mann. And going on. And the referee is given the penalty. Brian Lewis against Jimmy Coombs. And a goal. Right into the corner. Astle up there. Wild up there. They've all missed it. Astle. And he scored. Everybody else in this town will believe in fairies. Thank you very much indeed. Schoberg, Brown, Leicester looking lively. Farrington, Whitworth going up on the outside for him. Brown. Oh, and a good piece of play here as Whitworth comes in on the blind side. And Fern! No, yes! Whitworth! And the goal is given! And it's Steve Whitworth who puts... Hensley. Woodward. Must have a go. And he did right to do so. Coming in, Curry! <laughs> Trying to go outside Munro, he's brought down, and John Howard, the referee, is in no doubt about the decision. A penalty. Bannister to take it. 
nice change of feet and the favourites are a goal down Bruce Bannister the top Rover scorer puts the third division side into the lead to the obvious delight of one or two supporters and as soon as one comes so come more finally comes over it's headed away but not for long Roberts meets it and Bristol Rovers are two up with the most spectacular goal of the afternoon seen at Eastfield Stadium Sandy Allen congratulating the scorer Brian Godfrey number 11 the skipper Frankie Prince number 6 involved in the move Alan Woodward on by Dearden that's a goal Mackenzie was the scorer. Neatly flicked on by Dearden. And Mackenzie, who had come through from the back, he'd been playing right at the back here, Mackenzie came through to put Sheffield United up by one goal to nil after 17 minutes of play. Scullion coming close. Goulding, well turned back. And what a good goal. A very, very good goal indeed by Bill Dearden. People are not making the scoring chances and therefore they are not receiving the full support of their crowd who are just anxiously waiting for something to happen. This is Dearden and he beat his man nicely. Dearden's in with a chance and he's pulled down. It must be a penalty. He was well inside the box when Turner fouled him and so it's a penalty for Sheffield United after 23 minutes of the second half. and makes no mistake at all. And a Woodward makes it three goals to nil for Sheffield United. Sheffield United are finding the spaces even with 10 men. Good pass. This is Hemsley. Hemsley again. A very, very good goal indeed. Ted Hemsley who had come back from the, uh, right from the back, beat two men there, and has now put the issue really well beyond doubt. Four goals to nil for Sheffield United. Prince did well. Jones, Godfrey. Certain neatness about the middle of the field for this Bristol side. Here's Bannister. Prince following up. Yes, and makes it. Got a slight touch. Good header by Billy Bonds, and here's the corner. And there's Bonds! And this time he's got it in! Corner. Billy Bonds, who came so close with the header, 